All these gadgets claim to be computers. How can that be? In order to really know a computer when I see one, I need to think like one. I guess I'll have to wipe this goofy grin off my face and start to think logically. There, now I can get serious. Computers have screens, they have buttons. They do things that I cannot. I do not fully understand how it happens, but that is irrelevant. I will learn as I am Agent Bananas. Computers. We use them every day and there are lots of different kinds. What is a computer? What do you think? A computer is a electronic. I think a computer is like a giant phone. It uses a lot of energy and technology is used for a lot of things. It helps teachers grow and find out new and fascinating things like if like something is out of stock like in a store or if like animals are going in danger and sometimes we can even use them to watch tv computers can take different shapes but they all share common elements a computer computes that means they calculate things or do a bunch of math to make sense of them computing used to be a human job in the 1950s and 60s, Katherine Johnson, Christine Darden, Mary Jackson, and Dorothy Vaughn were mathematicians at NASA whose calculations launched rockets to space! Over time, we invented electronics to calculate faster so we don't have to. Nowadays, we think of a computer as an electronic device that can store and process information. How does it do that? Imagine this. You can think of a computer as someone sitting at a desk with an inbox and an outbox. I would like to make a paper airplane. Where are those instructions? The hard drive stores information, like the drawers in a desk. If you want to do something like open a program, aha, you first need to find the right files from that drawer. Once you have the right file with the program instructions, it's loaded into memory a place where information can be accessed much faster than from the hard drive. You can think of memory as the top of the desk. Next, those instructions are processed by, well, a processor. The processor performs the instructions in memory using math and logic. The processor is like the person at the desk. I will process these instructions. Make paper airplane. Yes, good. Is that it? How does a computer actually do all of this processing? Processing is like reading. Instead of letters, a computer reads only two numbers, one and zero. <gasps> ah, not again. All those ones and zeros together tell a computer what it's supposed to do. It's a language called binary. One means true and zero means false. Everything a computer does can be broken down into a simple system of true or false, yes or no. It starts simple, but those ones and zeros can be combined in countless ways to build complicated commands. Phew. That's better. Now, where was I? Ah, yes. Make a paper airplane. That is a big task. I like the idea of fewer choices. A simple yes or no. I will break this down into smaller steps. Yes, I do want to make a paper airplane. Ah, that leads me to the next step. Great. That was amazing. Experiment time. Let's try thinking like a computer. For this experiment, you need a piece of paper, something to write with, and a fellow scientist. You'll be writing instructions to do something, so you'll also need materials to do that thing. I'm going to write instructions to make a sandwich. Decide what task you want accomplished. It could be putting the groceries away or solving a math problem, but don't tell your fellow scientist what it is just yet. 
make sure it's something safe for safety. Once you've decided, write out the step-by-step -step instructions to do that task. A computer needs information to be literal, meaning very specific and precise, so make sure your instructions are as simple and clear as possible. One, grab some bread. Two, open a banana. Three, put the banana on the bread. Four, put the bread together. Five, eat the banana sandwich. Now, give your instructions to your fellow scientist and ask them to follow the steps exactly as written. Grab some bread. Open a banana. Put the banana on the bread. Put the bread together. Eat the banana sandwich. It's the smell. Were your instructions clear enough to do the task? How can you make them even simpler and more specific? Take two slices of bread out of the bag. Put the two slices of bread next to each other on the countertop. Separate one banana from the bunch. Pinch the bottom of the banana to separate the peel. Pull the separated pieces apart and set them aside. Put the peeled banana on the countertop. Use the butter knife to cut the banana, cutting from the top to the bottom. Place the knife on the countertop. Use your hands to place the banana slices on one of the two slices of bread. Use your hands to place the other slice of bread over the piece of bread with banana slices. Place a corner of the sandwich in your mouth. Close your mouth. And chew. We built computers to follow specific instructions at lightning speed so they can do math way faster than we can. But humans are good at following instructions even when they aren't exact, like making a sandwich. We use common sense, intuition, and emotions to live our daily lives, and we're really good at it. The computer cannot have a blast like I am having. We. And yet, in a way, computers and the human brain are similar. Like a computer, we can recall information that we've stored in our minds and process it to perform complex tasks. Computers are a lot like me. I love them. But love makes me human. Every day, scientists are learning how to make computers do increasingly human-like things. At the same time, we think and feel in ways that only humans do. So, am I a computer? Can a computer be me? What do you think, scientist?